Okay guys, so welcome to another um, tutorial with me, said so, you know, this is basically AutoCAD architecture as you all can see. And today what we are doing is we are creating walls for our project which we started last week. So if you have not watched the video on any of them, you can check it out. We started with creating the project and then making the grid lines. All is done. So and we did the foundation as well yes we did the foundation as well so you can check all of them out and then let's continue we're going to continue with walls and for the walls we have only our ground floor so we just open our ground floor and let's get going easy and simple okay so with our ground floor we are going to you know um bring in our grid lines and our foundation because we'll be building on that. So now let's just bring in our grid lines. So XREF overlay. We have our grid lines. You XREF the, the one you've done and it comes into the new one you're doing. Then you continue. But the reason why I'm going to bring in the foundation is I do not want, I don't want to draw in places which I'm not going to, you, you see these lines, I'm not going to use them. But for the sake of the columns, that's why I, I drew them. So I'm not going to use them really. So for this, I, after I'm going to show you how to remove it from the project. So don't worry. So we are going to use our, the same CMU wall. Same CMU wall we used in the foundation. Yes, we are going to use that. But we are going to change our base height to 10 feet. 10 feet as the, the height of a room the normal room is 10 feet so you are going to use 10 feet so you select 10 feet you it, it's not going to you just change it to 10 feet if it's not 10 feet then you set uh, your justify to center you center your justify or it's not going to it's going to draw on the baseline or outside that's not what you want you want it to be centered so with that you are going to start by you know let me turn this on. You're going to start from here. Anywhere you want to start for that matter. No one doesn't matter. So I'm using the the grid line as reference. I just brought in the foundation so that I know that okay, this is where I'm because I don't want to go through the struggle of you know okay. that's simple. So with the grid line as reference, we draw on on it and then very easy simple to do yes that's all that's how that's why autocad architecture is more convenient for architecture purposes because you have everything you don't need to worry yourself in drawing lines and offsetting them six feet and stuff to get a wall on a, you just select getting your settings and then you're good to go so as we did in, in the previous video, we are going to add the selected. That means we are going to use the same properties as the one we have selected and we continue from there. So we, select, we click here, and then drag it out here, same. Then we close this. You want to check because if I had not checked, I wouldn't have known that this was incorrect. I think this is all right. So I had to check and make changes. So select this, I selected. It's very easy to do. You just need to, you know, try, start practicing, try your hands on it. In, in no time, you're going to get the hang of it. It's not any difficult thing to do. Yes. You've done math and science and you can do this. <laughs> this, this is very simple. Learning, learning on the computer is very, very simple. If and only if they would allow us to do this at our schools here or learn on 
the computer in the in the school see i think it will be profitable because the hustle of going to the classroom and in this somehow just going going to the classroom is a whole thing on its own and ha. so after doing everything let's go to the 3d and see what we did what happened so going to the 3d let me change this to conceptual so this is our rooms divided divided we stand now divided before sorry <laughs> okay so this is the the walls and the rooms we are going to edit it and give it give the spaces and give it names so that we know that okay this is the this, that, that, that. but for now let me explain something we're going to have this the living room this is going to be um an opening an opening does not have a door it's just an opening you just but it's going to have a bit of blocks one inch blocks around it yes but it's going to be an opening and we are going to take this out we are not going to use this so i'm going to delete it so that we can have our kitchen here and then the dining hall will be set here but a countertop will be around here we're going to have a countertop so this wall is going to be out this wall is also going to be out yes so we're going to have but i'm contemplating if i should clear all these walls so that we have you enter the room or you enter the room from either side you have your living room here your dining set at the back of your <clears throat> at the back of the you know sofa yes and then the kitchen comes back and then we have our dining hall here kitchen here then the bedrooms so that i'm just contemplating so if if you have an idea or what you want us to do you can you know, leave it in the comment section tell me okay we should do this we should do that but for now i'm just contemplating i would know what to do later on so i don't want this video to be that long and you know boring so i want it to be very very short and simple that's why i'm cutting everything out so with this i will end today's video see we have our foundation here on top of this so as you build it's going to be on top of each other like that that's how the whole thing is so with this i'll end today's video my name again is said you know, if you've not subscribed to the channel do subscribe hit the bell notification for future uploads and then like the video leave out a comment what you think what you need us to add any suggestion just bring it out and you know let's go so with this adios